Hey guys, I'm Matthew Bate and welcome to my blog and Facebook page and thank you very much for following me and coming on this journey with me and if you're not following yet, well, I get it. It's uh, pretty hard these days with our busy schedules to click like or enter our email in but when you can get around to it, just keep me on a tab open or something like that. That's what I do. I like to keep like 20 tabs open and think I'll get around to it and then Safari crashes and I lose all my tabs. Anyway. You guys got me right. <laughs> anyway, I'll get into it. The reason, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a background to myself and the reason I've started this because 2015 for me is a year of really challenging myself and this is something that uh, scared me a little bit. So I thought, you know what Matt? Put your freaking foot down and you've got to do it. And the reason for that and the reason I feel compelled to, to start this blog and Facebook page is because I've been lucky enough on my journey to have amazing experiences, uh, amazing mentors and people come into my life that have helped me out of my biggest challenges. And I really do believe it's in our biggest challenges, it's when our back is against the wall and we're facing the biggest adversity is where you get the most growth. But a lot of people, uh, they experience, experience some challenge, they experience experience some tough times and they don't like the feeling of it. It's tough and they don't like the feeling of uh, possibly being judged or feeling pain. And so they go through life uh, living within a little bit of a shell, living in a comfort zone and always afraid to push themselves and extend themselves. And that was me for a very long time. And it wasn't until certain people came into my life that I was able to burst that bubble and get out of it and I'm still on my journey so this is all part of it for me but what I really want to do is help as many people and inspire and motivate as many people to become their best selves uh, because that's you know we only get one shot at this life and that's what it's all about in the end pushing yourself every single day because I think that's when you feel like you're living when you get to the end of the day put your head on your pillow and you think back over your day and you know you push yourself, you know you challenge yourself and you know that that's where your biggest growth comes from. So I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys. Uh, this is a place where we can connect and we can share stories. Quickly a little bit about my background. I've, I grew up in Melbourne in a small little country town. So I went to a school with very few kids and one of the big turning points of my life was moving closer into the city uh, to a school with a lot of kids and I was basically socially retarded and mix that with having bright red fluoro red hair and it's a recipe for disaster and bullying and you know bad programming for many many years so I moved to a bigger school and I didn't know what the hell I was doing I, I don't even think I looked at a girl let alone talked to her uh, someone a female until I was like 15 uh, but another big turning point in my life uh, after being bullied and having a few tough years was moving to another school where I really decided that was where I was going to uh, I guess reshape myself and start fresh and that's when I started believing in myself more I had a few great mentors found some amazing friends who believed in me and I started believing that I could become a professional athlete and I started talking and thinking every single day as if becoming a professional athlete was just an inevitability anyway through working my ass off and overcoming a lot of challenges, I was able to realize that dream and was at, was drafted with the Melbourne Demons in 2004. And I probably thought that I had everything made for me when that started, but that was another massive wake up call and reality check for me because I went from just, you know, a school environment to a professional environment at the age of 17 uh, with, with real men who had pushed their mind and body to the limits and they didn't, I guess, it, being uh, ma making excuses or not being up to those standards just wasn't accepted. No bullshit was accepted. So I had to either, I, I had a decision, I had to either improve myself and go up to those standards quickly and, and try to become a man as quickly as I could or I'll get spat out of that system super fast. So I started pushing myself, I started training harder, trying to, um, trying to grow all the time and I was able to nut out a pretty good career with the Demons playing over 100 games but one of the side effects was that was I started developing the habit of overthinking and overanalyzing every single situation. I would, I would just constantly be thinking, what are my teammates thinking of me? What are my coaches thinking of me? What's my family, my friends, the public, the media? What are they all thinking of me? I'd, I'd stay up every night. I'd need sleeping pills a lot of the nights to get to sleep. And that started whilst I, I loved every part of my career, loved every part of my experience with the demons. And I feel so blessed to have been able to, uh, you know, have that 
that opportunity to have a professional career, it also took a big toll on my mind and body. And I just got stuck in this mindset where I was constantly fearing what everyone else was thinking. I needed validation from other people. So another big turning point was a few years ago when I decided that enough was enough and I couldn't live like that anymore. And it was about when my career with Melbourne was coming to an end in 2012. And I had a lot of fear about where my next career was going to be. I didn't want to be another, I didn't want to be a washed up ex AFL player uh, with no direction. I didn't have any degrees or business knowledge or any other, any other path that I could go down. So I had to make a decision that I was going to follow my passion, follow my dream. And that was a huge turning point in my life because I had to break through a lot of fear. And I knew that if I was going to be fulfilled and happy, I had to stop giving a shit about what people thought of me. And I had to really learn to embrace and love myself. So I'm still on that journey. That was about three years ago and I've come a long way since then, but still on the journey. So I'm looking for you guys to help me as much as I'm looking to help you guys. And I was introduced to a network marketing company about in at the end of 2012, which introduced me to a product that was able to help me find my passion, which is health and fitness, but also help me develop an entrepreneurial side and become very passionate about self-development and personal growth. And through that, I was able to meet some amazing people living just such high standards in their life in business, health, relationships, and all sorts of areas. And now they've been able to pass down a lot of information to me that have really helped, really has really helped improve the quality of my life, not help me speak in front of a camera, camera clearly. I'm doing my best though. So I, I really want to now pay for that information. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to go on that journey. If this is something you want to share with me, uh, please follow, please like my page, please join into my blog. If not, and you can't be, you don't ever want to hear my voice again, then that's cool. That's why I created this. So you could actually choose and decide. Unlike my Facebook wall where unfortunately everyone has to hear my stuff. So thanks again for listening guys. And I look forward to going on this journey with you.